A couple of months ago, uh, the UN released its annual emissions gap report, which as we uh, all here know, highlights the difference between what we need to do in terms of uh, curbing emissions and what we're actually doing. And I worked with them to summarize the report in this interactive and visual feature. Uh, one of the key points of the report was how to uh, keep global warming below two degrees. We needed to uh, keep greenhouse gas emissions uh, below a certain level, and they had to peak by 2020 and decrease rapidly afterwards. So that was not going to happen in just one, in just one, one chart. Uh, in this case, the country by country emissions. So what we did was we transitioned the visualization. So each country was a little square and with its, it, its own chart. And this way you could actually uh, rent in a, in a sort of uh, world map. This way you could actually see uh, the regional patterns and you could actually see which countries had uh, peaked already. But obviously not everyone has the same responsibility. So what, what did we do? We transitioned the chart again. And here each cell is sized by each country's contribution to the global uh, greenhouse emissions. And if they have or they have not done what they needed to be doing to curb that. Using storytelling, um, breaking a complicated data set uh, apart, visualizing it, and guiding people through it is a very effective way of communicating. So emissions have to peak by a certain uh, year. Uh, most countries in developing countries in Asia and Africa haven't, but they're not uh, as big as the biggest contributors, who, some of which have not done what they need to be doing to curb um, climate change. So that was fine. We understand what those squiggly lines mean, what those unevenly sized squares are, but we were lacking the emotional connection. You care about this little green dot because your brain is wired to see the sequence as a narrative. You can read protagonists and antagonists in, in this. So that is what I do. I work to make data tangible and relatable using text and using visuals and using uh, uh, metaphors and using interaction. Uh, my ultimate goal is to present data in terms audiences can feel. Um, last July, the world celebrated World Environment Day around the issue of beating plastic pollution. And I worked with the UN to, to create this interactive and, and visual feature around it. As the opener, we show the geometric growth of plastic waste at this, uh, as this uh, visual of raining trash. We transformed the data in this small red chart uh, here in something more tangible uh, into this rate of raining chart that was changing uh, based on the, on the data for that decade. And as I was working on this, my four-year-old son walked into the room and said, Daddy, why is it raining more and more trash? And so even though he doesn't read, he doesn't have the tools to read, and he didn't have the context, so he couldn't have the full picture, he could, he could read what was happening uh, here. 
we respond much more immediately to data if it's presented in this raw terms. And then we can be guided through the nuance and through uh, the details. But data becomes more memorable uh, this way. Because it's not about the data, it's not about the abstraction, it's not about uh, the numbers, it's about who is behind that or who is affected by that. Uh, by the way, another uh, little uh, uh, anecdote with my four-year-old. As I was working on this uh, presentation uh, last week, uh, he, uh, he walks in and I ask him, uh, Roy, so what is it more important, this or this? And he said, obviously this. And when I asked him why, he said, well, because it's people. He can read, bear in mind, he can't read. Uh, so he, but he has more uh, clearer than uh, some data journalists what is more important. It's, it's, the, it's, not, the, it's not the numbers, it's the people uh, behind it. So taking all that into account, making data about uh, people, uh, weaving, uh, hooking you emotionally, and weaving narrative to show you the details um, and the nuance was what we did in 2017 for the UN Environment Assembly. We start counting the number of people that die because of an unhealthy environment and climate change as soon as you open the story. Somebody in the Western Pacific is gonna die in two, one. That gets me every time I do it. Um, and we then call to action, how do we stop it? And then we show you the nuance and the detail and more data and the reasons behind it. But we have hooked you emotionally first. We've put it in terms that you can relate to. Uh, we listen and tell stories from a very young age. It's a very human tool to understand the world around us. Uh, and I think that paired with this data-driven, um, evidence-based, emotional, and visual approach, uh, we can get audiences to care and act about the issues we know they care about.